you know, I kind of promised them a Ralph's challenge. I think, I think we might no. have, I think we might have found it. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hate spiders like so much. Get the hell out of here! <laughs> I will, I will stab you for real. <laughs> you see that? He was hiding in the liner. Ooh, man. Ralph. <laughs> better yet, better yet, what are you going to do about it? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> yes, you, you got to do something with that thing. <laughs> what is up, guys? It's Ralph with Pondscapes back out in Hereford, Arizona, and of course, with my buddy Jack. How are you with Atlantis Water Gardens? And Charlie Holland from Chester Hollow. We are gonna do it again. <laughs> Can't wait. Can't wait. <laughs> what is so funny? Be fun. <laughs> I hate you so much. <laughs> <laughs> yes, okay, Ralph, we're back here, Hereford, Arizona. We were here about a year ago, right? That's right. And we built an awesome pond for Lee, who is a really awesome customer. Yep. That was a memorial pond for Bill, her ex, her husband that passed away. Yep. So out front here, like uh, you gave me a rundown of what we're doing. Like run me through this again. I'm trying to understand why we're doing this out in the front yard, this pond, this waterfall. Okay, so the reason why we're doing this is that little lady right there. This is Willie and Willie loves water and Willie loves being out in the front yard. So Jack, what the plan is, right behind you at that cactus, we're gonna wipe that area out. We're gonna wipe this cactus out, create a big berm, big elevation, big crashing, heading right towards the house. And then what's gonna happen over in this blank space, we're gonna have a waterfall, gentle, you know, a little, little easier going and uh, cascading, turning, and cutting right through this sidewalk. We're gonna have a real cool stepping stone path with water running through it. That's gonna intersect into this, uh, this transition right here from that other waterfall. Come downstream and disappear. We're gonna have approximately a thousand gallon reservoir right here. We've got some figuring to do, right? This, this section of sidewalk's gotta come out. We gotta make sure we set our elevation of the stream low enough so that we don't have like a step up here. We want it to be a nice smooth transition across here. Lee's, Lee wants to come out in her bare feet and walk through her yard. And you'll see by the backyard how much paper work she did already. There'll be more of that out front. This, I don't know if we've quite figured out yet what we're gonna do here, but it's gotta be something where it's comfortable to come across, water coming through it. I'm thinking like some random stepping stones in here that just carry the elevation of the sidewalk across. So we're gonna probably set this down a good seven, eight inches in here so that the water is down low enough where it doesn't back up and cause problems against the sidewalk. Joining here, I'm seeing like a big pooling near area here maybe, Ralph, right? And when this, if this big one comes in, maybe it spills into that pooling area. And then here we've got some elevation dropping off, which is nice because then we can really do some cool waterfall work going towards the road. So when you pull in the driveway, First thing you see is that, and it's just a taste of like what's going on at this house because Lee has done an amazing job here. All right, so first thing we got to get started up at the uh, headwaters. So a couple of hurdles that we have to deal with is the slope of the roof. We've got a, a spot where water runs off and it splashes down right here. So this we've got to keep clear. She doesn't have gutters up yet. And I want to make sure that we don't create a situation where that's a problem and she needs gutters tomorrow. So we're going to stay a couple feet off of the house and uh, we're going to do a boulder retaining wall back here. So it's going to be kind of a crescent shape on the backside. We're going to have, uh, you know, about an 18 inch elevation, nice gentle waters. We don't want to produce too much sound right here because the patio is right there. It's only 10 feet away. So we don't want to drown her out of the patio with too much crashing. So we'll have a nice turn pooling area and we're gonna cut a section of the sidewalk out and keep working our way down. So once we blow through this, then we can start really playing with the big rocks and coming down to our vault area.
guys, day two, and we are making some huge progress. Uh, so let me show you where we are at. We're a few hours in. Uh, so I'm a little behind. All right, so this is where we ended yesterday. Uh, we had the majority of this uh, rock work all uh, made up and uh, these stones started getting set this morning. Uh, Jack and Charlie have been uh, working their way out, setting these huge steppers. These steppers are gonna be like what stands out the most, I think, on this water feature. So what Jack is doing right now is he's got a bed of gravel there's a depression right there. We dug it a little deeper than the top of the sidewalk right here. That way, when it's time to level it out, we can uh, fill that up with gravel and make some fine tune adjustments to get it just right. We want it to be dead flush from the concrete patio to our steppers. Now, we've got a gap over here. What's gonna happen in here? We're gonna do some cobble work and have a nice little wash area. This is really going to be awesome. And like we talked about, we want a gentle, waterfall so this is nothing crazy right here but you can already see where that water is going to make its way through and we're going to have some coming through there and over this edge there Okay, so the big flat steps are set in stone. <laughs> set in stone. Not yet. <laughs> these big guys are set, and we've got all of these. These were specifically brought in for this purpose. So uh, what we're going to do is paint these out, spray paint that, and uh, put a bed of gravel under it, and then put some concrete so they will not move. So we had to get Lee's seal of approval the idea is that she is going to have a smooth transition to all these steps without stubbing her toes. And Lee, yes. can we keep moving? Yes, it's perfect. I, I love stepping stones and Willie, the dog, is, is going to love this. Uh, it's just keep on going. We're getting there. All right. <laughs> We just set the largest rock we have. That excavator really struggled with this rock. It's over two tons. This monster is so cool. I love the way it looked on the pallet and being here in the, the water feature now, it's found its forever home. We've tied it right up against this weir stone. We're gonna have waterfall coming off here. And then we've got all the layering going back of all these boulders. So this is pretty much done. Just need some touch up work. We're done with the big waterfall. Steppers are in. Now we're making our way over to where we've got to install our reservoir. These are our cavities that create that vault that stores all the water. So a large aqua block actually holds 32 gallons of water. So with 30 blocks, this is over a thousand gallons of water storage. And over here, this is our pondless waterfall pump vault. So uh, the pump is gonna live inside of here. And we actually have to, because of the size of the aqua blocks, we have to put extensions on here to get them up high enough. So we've got to put two extensions on each vault and then put those pumps in. The plumbing will come out of the back of these to help circulate that water. All right, day number four, let's see what's going on. Now with the excavation complete, the sand is getting shaded in the bottom of the hole because this ground is so rocky. Now we are gonna protect it with that heavy rock pad, but we want some extra protection. So that is why that's going down. Then we put our liner and then another layer of that rock pad. And then we have no issues, right, Jack? Right. <laughs> I'll talk to Charlie. Right, Charlie? 
I agree with you 100%, Ralph. I think it's going to 100%. Work. I think it's all going to work out fine. <laughs> It is the day five hard push. Today is the last day we have Charlie and Charlie needs to see this feature run. So we are pushing hard to get to that point before he takes off. Now the top area is pretty much buttoned up. Just a couple details. We got to beach the rest of this out to match what's going on here. Do some edging and we've got a ton of work to do back here for the, uh, the main waterfall. Uh, bibbing and uh, setting our uh, spillways and then working our way around the corner so you can see where uh, Jack is uh, getting this rock ready to be set we've got our two inch line tucked under the liner right here you can see it popping out over there that's going to continue around to our pump vaults and then we'll have two three inch lines coming from those vaults up to the back of the waterfall all right no time to mess around we got to get after it Welcome to day six. We are getting this done today. Majority of the stream system is finished. We've got a lot to do over here by the big waterfall. This is where we're gonna start doing all our bib liners to make sure that we seal this up. The water can then pull up and then come over this rock as a spillway. Same thing back here. I'm gonna get started on this. Ralph is gonna come back here where these pipes are and he's gotta make our custom diffuser. We're gonna use three aqua blocks. The pipes will be fed into them. Then it's gonna well up and it'll spill over this first drop into this pool working its way down into the stream. I'd say we probably got a good four or five hours to finish this thing. Rinse it down, plug the pumps in, watch it come to life. All right, we are in the final phases here and man, it is time to get this going because it's Saturday and whew, it's been a long week. So let's get it plugged. It's time. <laughs> 